Imagine a lonely spacecraft drifting across the silent canvas of deep space, untouched for over 45 years. This is Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object that is still fully functional. Launched in 1977 by NASA, it continues its incredible journey through a dark, endless scene of stars. With each passing second, Voyager 1 moves farther into regions of space no human device has ever seen. It sends weak signals back to Earth from more than 14 billion miles away, a distance so vast that even light takes over 21 hours to travel. This small craft carries a large legacy. It's hard to believe that this advanced mission runs on technology older than a cassette player. The spacecraft has only 69 kilobytes of memory, less than most modern phone apps, yet it continues to operate precisely in the vast void. Its data is stored on magnetic tape, similar to old VHS cassettes, floating silently in the cosmic darkness. Despite its age, Voyager 1 still observes, thinks, and responds from far beyond our skyline, a feat that shocks engineers and researchers. This machine operates without modern tools, yet delivers clear, accurate information from deep within the universe's scene. Scientists often call it a miracle of engineering, proving its value even decades after launch. Recently, far beyond any known planet, Voyager 1 detected strange shifts in plasma waves and cosmic radiation. These changes could help us understand how the solar wind interacts with matter outside the solar system, a discovery found in pure silence. This breakthrough excited scientists around the globe and brought new energy into the space research community. Dr. Suzanne Dodd, the Voyager project manager, said it still teaches us about the unknown, echoing across space's empty backdrop. The Voyager mission began when NASA engineer Gary Flandro noticed a rare alignment of planets in the late 1970s. This alignment only happens once every 176 years allowing a spacecraft to use planetary gravity assists to increase speed and explore the solar stage. NASA saw the opportunity and launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 just 15 days apart in 1977, setting out on a mission across the planetary landscape. Originally meant to last only four years, these missions have surpassed four decades in open space. Voyager 1 gave us our first close-up look at Jupiter's moon Io where we discovered active volcanoes beyond Earth for the first time. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 became the first to fly by Uranus and Neptune, capturing stunning scenes of deep blue clouds and icy rings. Even now, the two spacecraft keep transmitting data through deep space, pushing the boundary of our knowledge. Voyager 1 began by flying past Venus, getting a gravity boost and heading toward Jupiter, across the dangerous asteroid belt. Many feared the asteroid zone would destroy it, but the spacecraft glided through safely, crossing the field of flying rocks. With limited memory and old instruments, Voyager 1 can still handle tasks on its own within the cold vacuum. In the silence of deep space, there's no one to repair it. Voyager must solve problems independently, sometimes switching to backup systems or adjusting its antenna, a self-reliance that's been vital in the distant realm it now explores. Its 12-meter-wide antenna transmits faint messages, like a whisper echoing across the ocean. Earth's deep space network must use massive radio dishes to catch these signals hidden in the noise of cell phones, TVs, and satellites. Despite interference, these signals reach Earth, delivering science-changing data. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the helipause, the border where the sun's influence ends, entering interstellar space, a historic transition. NASA had predicted the HELOPAUSE was around 50 astronomical units, but Voyager's readings surprised everyone. Instead of chaotic changes in radiation, the spacecraft entered a quiet, still region, puzzling even experienced experts. The magnetic field didn't shift direction as predicted. Instead, Voyager found a sharp rise in plasma density, marking a true entrance into a new space environment. This discovery showed our textbook models were wrong. Dr. Ed Stone, Voyager's longtime chief scientist, said the craft is rewriting how we understand where our sun's influence ends. That insight changed the way scientists see the galactic stage and the boundaries of our system. Now traveling through a mysterious area filled with icy bodies, possibly part of the Oort cloud, Voyager continues forward. Though it will take hundreds of years to reach that cloud, 
the data paints a clear portrait of what lies ahead. Every year, Voyager proves that human technology can survive beyond what anyone expected, floating across the great canvas of space. These spacecraft represent more than machines, they represent our desire to understand the universe. They carry our hopes and our curiosity, acting as floating ambassadors through the scene of space. Even their golden records add beauty to the mission, filled with greetings in 55 languages, earth sounds, and music like Beethoven and Chuck Berry. These records, drifting through space, are messages to aliens that we were here. They offer a silent hello to any intelligent life in the cosmic expanse, giving them a taste of humanity across the stars. To many scientists, Voyager's most powerful gift isn't only the data, it's the inspiration it creates. Kids in classrooms, engineers at NASA, and stargazers alike find hope knowing our creation drifts through the galactic night. Voyager's mission is more than a mission, it's a poem told in science, echoing through the space landscape. Our foresight and curiosity made this possible, and the Voyager legacy remains one of humanity's most incredible achievements. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.